Good morning. It's uh, thir Wednesday morning, October 19th, uh, about 0952. This is just my video to give my solemn word. First of all, I want to thank everyone that's come on board since the planning of my walk initiated more than 14 months ago. Everyone from my family, to my best friends, to strangers that didn't know who I was until I engaged in this walk. Hundreds of you, and now thousands of you, support my walk. Usually through encouraging words and prayers, but always constant support. I want to thank those that I've met personally and have had the honor of shaking your hand as I'm walking and have allowed me to spread the word about my epic journey to bring an overdue and well-deserved light upon every veteran from every conflict ever fought. Even for those veterans that have passed, that have paid the ultimate sacrifice, thank you as well. I want to take a moment and give my solemn word on something. I've had some naysayers since I first put this plan on paper. People who believed that I was too old to do this. People who believed that I would never even start my walk. People who believed I would never get more than a thousand friends or do more than a hundred miles. My word is this. To each and every one of you that have followed me since I started, or for those that have joined me since my walk began, I can't give you a definite time period on this walk. My brain tells me the math is it'll take four years. It could take longer. It could take seven. It could take a dozen years. But the word I want to give you today, my word as a gentleman, as a U.S. Marine, is that regardless of the time it takes, regardless of the obstacles before me, regardless of the challenges that lay before me, I will accomplish this mission. My finish line is Arlington Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia. And whether I have to cross that finish line on my hands and knees, beaten, battered, and bleeding, I will accomplish this mission. A story that I've shared with most of you, and now that I want to share with all of you, is this. A few months before my walk began, I had the honor of attending a fundraiser for wounded veterans. While at that fundraiser, I met an Army veteran. I spotted him in the crowd because he had lost both his legs from the kneecaps down. He was standing on high-tech prosthetics. I made my way through the crowd. I saw him and his wife standing there. I shook his hand. I introduced myself and told him what I was doing. And I said to him this, there's a lot going on today. There are speeches being said, there's money being raised, there's activities around us as we speak. And when you leave today, if you forget everything else, I need you to remember that you're my hero. That you're my personal inspiration to make this walk. That you and millions of veterans like you Veterans that are confined to wheelchairs, that are confined to bed, that are confined or live with prosthetics, that are confined to walkers, that are mentally or physically wounded for the rest of their lives. You're the reason I'm making this walk. I know that blisters are coming. I've already got blisters. I got blisters on top of my feet. 
I know pain's coming, discomfort. There's going to be days that I'll, I'm going to be cold and wet. There'll be days that I'm hot and exhausted. There'll be days that I'll be so tired beyond measure, like I've never been before ever in my life. But I'll check on. I'll keep walking. Because when those days come that I'm tired and cold and lonely and just beaten, and I don't feel like taking another step, I'll think back to you and how every day for the rest of your life you have to put your legs on. What could I possibly complain about? My feet hurt? I could not make up a reason not to make this walk. When him and I shook hands again, we held and we cried and his wife cried. This is my video of solemn, solemnly swear to everyone who watches it. I will accomplish this mission. Will it be easy? Absolutely not. Will there be challenges? Yes, of course there will be. Will there be obstacles I have to cross? No doubt. So far my walk has been relatively easy. People have come from out of the woodwork to assist me. But I know as the walk progresses and I get in the Midwest where towns are further apart and it's more desolate, I'm going to have challenges I can't even imagine. But that's okay. Because I'll keep walking. I thank all my sponsors on board and I thank those that are following me and continue to follow me. But even if I didn't have my sponsors and I had to make this walk in Bermuda shorts and flip-flops and a t-shirt carrying a plastic bag, I have to make this walk. Because our veterans deserve nothing less. I know there are many like me who care about our veterans. There are people who create foundations every day to help our veterans. And I'm glad to be part of that group. There's a term in the U.S. Marine Corps, it's our motto, Semper Fidelis. Now I take nothing away from any other branch. I respect the Army, the Navy, the Coast Guard and Air Force. And in my eyes, each and every one of you who's ever served, I don't care if you pushed a pencil at a desk, you flipped a burger as a cook, or you fired a 105 howitzer in combat. All of you in my eyes are true veterans and you're my brothers and sisters. And even if you disagree with my walk as a veteran, I still consider you a brother or a sister. But in the Marine Corps, Semper Fidelis, which is Latin that means always faithful, carries a deep core value meaning. Those of you that are U.S. Marines, you know what it means. I just want to share that motto with everyone, veteran or non-veteran, Marine or non-Marine, Semper Fidelis on my walk, always faithful. I will faithfully make this walk. I will faithful fi faithfully finish this walk. Come obstacles, challenges, anything. My comment to the pain coming, bring it. The discomfort, the loneliness, the cold, the, the unbearable heat, bring it. Semper Fidelis. A Marine has never failed a mission, and this Marine will not. This Marine will bring attention and raise money for our veterans. This is my new career in life. This is my new calling. I have the good Lord over my shoulder, and He guides every step. I have friends behind me, and even naysayers. But I will accomplish this mission. That's my word, my solemn word, to each and every one of you. Again, those that have come on board, I thank you. You are my new best friends, close friends, and no longer strangers. For those of you that will join my cause in the future, I thank you. 
And it's not always about money. I know times are, are rough for everybody. I understand that. The least I ask of anyone is please just simply spread the word. I can't do this walk alone. And even though I may be the boots on the ground making this walk, not one single step would mean a thing if not for the constant support, the encouraging words, and the constant prayers from everyone. So I owe everyone everything. I'm just, this, this walk isn't about me at all. Not one bit. Yes, I'm the face you'll see in the newspaper. I'm the face you'll see on television during interviews. I'm the guy pulling the cart behind me, but it's not about me at all. This is not a self-serving mission. I'm just a vessel with a message. And I will shout my message loud and clear from the mountaintops to the valleys, to the deserts and to the shores. This Marine will not falter. This Marine will not fail. Thank you again. And to all of you that have helped me since I started I salute you, and I love each and every one of you. In closing, thank you again. I love you all. Simplify and march on.